Hey, it's Holly. In today's video, we are going to finish up those two figures we've been working on. So the fairy figure and also the Sailor Moon figure. I cannot wait to get to that. So let's get started. Okay, so we're back to it. So uh, here are the figures dried. So here she is. So she, the, the bow hits uh, when she's standing up, which is fine. Um, but she still can get into a fully seated position, which is great. Uh, so that is our uh, Sailor Moon Tina figure. And then here is our Tina fairy figure. So she has now her wings are all dried up and primed and looking good. So um, I think we can get to painting on these ones. So uh, I've got our palette here. I've got out the Tamiya paints. Um, and we are going to get these all mixed up. So for the fairy, <laughs> I know it's not super traditional, but I, I do want to do pastels for her. So we'll, we'll come up with some pastel combinations. It just feels right for Polly Pocket. And I want to be a bit true to form when it comes to Sailor Moon. So we will mix up some colors for that. So. For Sailor Moon's hair, she is going to need yellow hair. She's going to need a red bow. She's going to need a bit of a darker blue for her skirt. And those are really her main colors, um, plus some white for the rest of her outfit. Um, and then maybe we'll just start with her. So uh, you may notice that it looks a little different in here today. Um, I actually just redid my entire office, so I have things uh, organized a little bit differently now, so that's why all of the paints are now set up differently. Okay, so I think, what should we do first? First, maybe we should get a skin tone on her. And some of these are very difficult to open, so bear with me. some of these colors. All right, I think that's gonna get us what we need. So unfortunately, when I bought these paints, when it came to the red, yellow, and blue that I got, they only had clear. Um, so these paints are clear, so. I do have to be mindful kind of the order I paint things in, but that will at least get us started. And then now that we've got that, I'm going to start with the yellow. The yellow is quite pigmented, so. It's probably enough. I feel like her hair color might be just slightly more um, shocking than that. <laughs> it's probably not the right word, but saturated. So I'm going to, her hair is quite artificially yellow. So I'm going to just put two more drops of yellow there. Okay, there we go. It's a bit, a bit of a deeper color. Now for the skin tone, this one is always a little bit more challenging to get it just right, but I've got some yellow in there. I'm going to go in with a drop of orange. get this too orange but we'll lighten that one up and then this last one here is for the blue I'm 
Now, I know technically if you want a deeper blue, you just add more blue, but okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of black in it just to help darken it. And we'll put some more blue in there. So now that we've got that mixed up, we'll put just a little bit um, onto her skin and then we can paint up some of that white. Oh, we actually do need more white, don't we? In the skin, I forgot about that. All right, which brush am I gonna paint with? Probably this one here. It's not the best. would benefit from like a drop of red just so she doesn't look there we go this warm <laughs> warmed it slightly she was looking kind of jaundiced there okay so I think we're good to go That is just red, excess red. I am not bleeding. Okay, there we go. So for that color, I'm looking at this going, Holly, what are you doing? You should have primed the green. And if you're thinking that right now, you are also correct. And we're going to pause what we're doing and do that. looking a lot better. Rookie mistake there. Not priming it. That should help. Her hands are in gloves, but there is like just the littlest part above the glove. And I don't know how much of it will really show at the end of the day, but I'm just gonna get in there while I still can. And she has this little bit here.
So now that we've got that, I think we will go in on her hair. that that bow looks like. It could probably use another coat of primer. Oh gosh. It's a bit too much there. We're getting there. Now, there is also blue on her scarf that we made. And this part is so tricky. in a bit. Um, that back piece is also blue. She's looking pretty good. Now we should get some real white down before we start painting up um, things like red. Very happy with how she's turning out here. but we might have to do that after because we really need the rest of her to dry. Okay, we're gonna come back down to our fairy friend. I think we should make use of this yellow and do her bodysuit in that color.
and for her wings, I'm thinking of doing like a very light blue. At least for the main part. Potentially painting them up to look a little bit more like butterfly wings. Super cute. She might need a second coat of paint on her face and arms here. Just see a few colors bleeding through. I mean, the white's still showing, is what I'm trying to say there. like to try to do here, this is a bit precarious, but we're going to do our best, is um, just try to get a little bit of that blue underneath the skirt portion here. We're gonna go with purple hair for her. Love this purple color. It's so cute. I think that very light blue color for the wings will just really set it off. Seriously, her hair looks so good. <laughs> I'm very happy with that. So cute. looking cute. I didn't wish she was that blue for her shoes too maybe. Oh, 
Oh. Come on, on the other side. Hey, she looks pretty good. Okay. See those armbands. Which we so carefully placed. So, you know, I am not breathing when I'm doing this. Oh my gosh, the way that I'm nervous. Okay. <laughs> did it. I think we did it. We're going to come around and look at the bow on her back here. Of course, we still have her boots, but home stretch. Oh my gosh, she looks so cute. Now I'm not sure if I need to, I might, I'm just going to say I'm not sure if I need to put, I might just need to do a few coats of these to get that right. Oh my gosh, she is so cute. I am so happy with her. on her face has a little red dot like she has like a little headband um, with like a gold um, like a, she has a gold headband with a red gem in the middle is what I'm trying to say um, but I don't want to add the gold accents just yet because I would like to put that on the center of her bow is actually going to be gold too um, but I'd like to put that all on after we've stamped her face. So we are going to have to let her dry for a little bit. Um, over here, let's see, she seems to be doing well. We can probably just hold her to paint her feet. Just resting on her wings there. Um, so I'm gonna let these two dry for a few minutes and then come back and see if we can finish them up. Okay, so being mindful of time, I have <laughs> clear coated these, um, but these are how they turned out. So here's our fairy. She's looking very cute. And then of course we have Sailor Moon. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting faces on these. I'm going to start with the fairy. She's just lower risk, I feel. 
Um, so I've got my stamping gel, which we learned was very important. Um, here's the clear coat I used, by the way. It's the Tamiya Clear X22. Um, it's acrylic, as were the other paints. Okay, so here is our, um, gosh, lost my words, stamping plate. I also am going to need some packing tape, which I've got here. Okay, so this is the packing tape. That's just to clear or clean off the stamp. Um, and then I also have alcohol wipes here if needed. Um, but we can get that going. Um, so this is my UV lamp, um, just a regular lamp you would use if you um, were to do gel nails, for example. Um, I like the face that we had picked last time and I think I'm going to use it. Actually, I think I'm gonna try this one. I know it's hard to see on here, so <laughs> you'll see it when it's on. But we'll get that there. Okay, and then once you have that, you scrape it clean. Then it is important to take your stamp, just make sure it's clean. That's what that packing tape was for, just to get any of the dust off of it. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that very well in there, but there's the face. Here she is, so I can actually see through this when I'm doing it. So I'm gonna do this carefully just so that we don't mess it up. Hopefully, don't mess it up. And there she is. She's so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna toss her under the lamp. Now, um, we've got Sailor Moon to contend with here only moderately nerve wracking. But that is a very cute face and I think it will work well. Okay, so I've picked up the face on here. Pray for me. Ta -da! Okay, she's looking really cute. So now that we've got that there, I'm gonna stick her into Cure. Um, but now that we've got that all set up, we can go ahead and put on that final touch of her bow. Not bow, gosh, I'm losing my, losing my language. Um, headband. Okay, so. Gold and it comes in just from just from inside her bangs there. It's so subtle, but it actually makes a huge difference <laughs> looking at it. It's such a good detail. All right, 
Right, I think we've done it. I think we have nailed these figures. Of course, I'll put another clear coat on top of that after, but as you can see, the face is on there. That stamping gel is just so great for that. And there she is. And here's our Sailor Moon. Oh my gosh. So I put gold around her meatballs. <laughs> uh, she's got that gold in her bow and then she has that little headband. She's adorable. So I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments on this project. I know it was a long one, but um, I think it was worth it. I'm very happy with how she turned out. I can't wait to show her to my daughter. She's gonna freak out. But uh, there you have it. So there are our fairy and Sailor Moon dolls. All right, um, first let's start with the fairy figure. So <laughs> I'm so proud of how she turned out. I think she's super cute. Just a very basic color palette, um, but it just looks very sweet on her. Just some gold detail on her wings. Love the purple color of her hair. She just, it's very sweet. And if you can see the purple on her shoes, so cute. Um, but the star of the show, I think, is our Sailor Moon. So um, I think she turned out fabulous. There she is. So you can see her beautiful, uh, trying to get her in focus, bear with me. Her beautiful meatball hair with the gold accents, the gold there. Um, there is the back of her. And of course, you can see the detail on the face really clear here. So um, I think she's fantastic. I think it really still feels very poly. Um, because we retained that shape. We didn't change the shape too much, just the hair. Um, but then we also have the, the outfit. Um, and she's just, she's so cute. She's so cute. So um, yeah, two more figures down. So let me know if you like this kind of content. Um, I think, I, I mean, I'm just having a ton of fun doing this. I, I'm really proud of this one. Um, and now that we've kind of got those faces sorted out, like look at her face. We nailed that, right? So uh, I'm feeling a bit better about all of it. But uh, I would, as always, love to hear your thoughts. And <laughs> I just can't get enough of these. My kids are going to freak out when I show these to them. Um, but specifically, my seven-year-old is going to freak out when she sees this Sailor Moon. So I'm going to go do that in a minute here. Um, yeah, and as we're getting closer to the end of the year, it's now December. Um, please leave your questions in the comments for me because I am going to be filming very soon my 2022 year-end wrap-up video where I do a QA. and a And for that, uh, I would love your questions. Drop them in the comments for me. I'll answer them in the video. Um, I don't really have too much else to say other than thank you to everyone that's been a long time subscriber. Thank you to my new subscribers. If you are not a subscriber, please subscribe. Um, it's free to do so. And I come out with new videos every Monday and Thursday. I will say I'm planning on taking a little break for Christmas uh, just to catch up on life a bit. But um, aside from that, I come out with videos every Monday and Thursday. Um, you can also find me on social media. Just look up Pocket Vintage Toys. You'll find me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Those are the best places to connect with me outside of YouTube. But as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.